Hey guys and welcome to Fit Tip Friday. This is your favourite video series where I take a question that I've been asked at some point in my career I give you a quick, precise, to the point answer. Today's question is how should you actually be breathing when you're doing squats? First take two seconds to subscribe to my YouTube channel PT, and also give this video a thumbs up whilst you're at it. Okay so how you should breathe when you're squatting we're also going to talk about how you should breathe when you are deadlifting and doing any other large compound movement that requires core stability. And the first thing we need to understand is bracing because when you are breathing, you need to be bracing or not breathing and bracing. It depends on the situation. But basically, if you don't know what bracing is, it is creating intra-abdominal stability and pressure by activating your core muscles so if you get your fingers and dig them into your sides and just let them fall in and then push out against your fingers that is your core braced you've activated those core muscles you've turned on your tva your transverse abdominus which is basically your body's weight belt and you are ready to go you also want to think about cues such as showing me how fat you are, which basically means you're not sucking in your stomach, you're just pushing your stomach, you're pushing air, creating a nice tight, stable support for your body. And this is super important and an absolute key to creating stability throughout an exercise is learning to breathe whilst bracing. A lot of people will learn to brace and then they'll start just holding their breath whilst they do that. And then you tell them to do a set of eight on the deadlift and by set eight, they're passing out. Not because the set was really hard, it's because they were breathing and they are dying of oxygen deprivation. So whilst you're bracing, you're pushing against your stomach, but you can still breathe diaphragmatic breathing, creating that pressure, keeping everything nice and safe. So now we know what bracing is, we need to understand why bracing is important. And basically, bracing creates that stability within your spine. It means that everything is going to be stable and safe. And that's going to basically massively reduce injury risk. It's also going to improve your power output because you're only as strong as your weakest link and if your body feels like your core and your spine is all wobbly and all over the place it's not going to let you exert maximal forces. And it's also just going to standardize your technique. If one week you're doing deadlifts without a braced core or squats without a braced core the next week you're doing it with a good brace and then you're not you know, weights are gonna feel different and you're not gonna be able to standardize your form, your technique and your output week to week. So that is super important as well. So now to finish off this video, I'm gonna hit you with two of the best analogies that I've ever heard in my life. The first one is gonna to be to explain bracing to you and the second one is gonna to be to explain breathing to you. So in terms of bracing, you wanna think about your body like a can of energy drink or a can of Coke or whatever fizzy beverage you personally enjoy. If you take one can that's an empty can, opened, you've drank it, it's empty. And then you've got your full can unopened, untouched. This empty can is your core without bracing. So you're just breathing normally, you've not activated your muscles, your TVA isn't turned on, it's just normal unbraced core. And this full can is your core with a brace. It's tight, it's strong, it's stable, it's full, it's ready to go, okay? If you stand on this empty can, what's gonna happen? The can is just gonna crumble up under itself. That is your body. If you put a bar on your back and try and do a squat without a nice stable brace in your core, your body's just gonna crumple up over time. Whereas if you squeeze that can that's full or if you stand on that full can of Coke, it ain't going nowhere. You've tried it before, you can't crush a full can of Coke with much ease anyway. And that is your body if you've got a nice stable brace. So remember, bracing is creating that strong, full kind of coke effect. And then analogy number two is how you should be breathing. And this one mainly works for squatting, but it also definitely transfers over to the deadlift. And this is the swimming pool analogy. When you're doing your squat, I want you to picture yourself squatting in a swimming pool where the water is coming up to your shoulders. So 
you're at the top of the squat. Bars on your back, you've got your nice brace, you're ready to go, you take a big breath in. That big breath is gonna help you brace when you go underwater, okay? You then breathe in, you've got your brace, you go down into the bottom of your squat, and right now you're submerged completely underwater, there's no breathing, and then you're coming up. As you press up, you're still not breathing. A lot of people are gonna to get to the bottom of the squat, and then as they come out of that squat, they're gonna go and breathe out as they come up. The issue is a lot of people will then let go of their brace as they breathe out. So as they're coming up with the weight, when things are hard, they're losing their brace and they're becoming that empty, crumpled up kind of coke. That is the last thing we want. So you're in the swimming pool, you're coming down, still holding that breath, holding your brace, coming up, holding your breath, holding your brace. Once you're out of the water, that's at that shoulder line, so once your head is up at the top, that's when you come out. And then you take another deep breath in and then you go down for your next rep. And that is how to properly breathe on the squat with a nice stable brace. The exact same goes for a deadlift. You're deadlifting a swim in a swimming pool. Uh, you're stood up, you breathe in, get that brace, you come down, pick up the bar. When the water's back to your shoulder level, that is when you breathe. And those are the two best analogies for you to never have an issue again in terms of how to brace and how to breathe when doing your big, heavy, strength-based compound lifts. That's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching Fit Tip Friday. If you have any comments or suggestions for future episodes, make sure to drop them in the comment section below and I'll get right back to you. Please subscribe to my channel. We've just hit over 200 subscribers, which is awesome. And I'm not slowing down. There's gonna be new videos every Tuesday and every Friday for the long foreseeable future. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and join the team. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next one. See you later, guys.